it'll definitely make your family feel like dinner is worth celebrating and family worth celebrating. I like it spicy. Oh yeah. Enjoy this feast for the eyes as well as for the soul. Something like this can bring your children close to the church because you're bringing them closer to your own domestic church. Oh, you're definitely going to like this. This will definitely help you to savor our faith. Hello, I'm Father Leo Paddlinghug. I'm the host of GraceBeforeMeals.com, and you're watching EWTN's Savoring Our Faith, where I'll cook some delicious recipes for your family and friends that will feed you body, mind, and soul. And today's delicious dish is all going to be about leeks, which is a scriptural food, a food that actually shows up in the book of Numbers. And we know when that part is, is when the, the Israelites were begging for something to eat and they remembered their time of slavery when they used to in Egypt have all the food they want from garlic to leeks to the different foods of olive and you, you name it, they could get it. But the problem was they would be enslaved. And so what we're going to do is we're going to free the flavors out of a traditional French onion soup as I cut some of these leeks up into some pretty thin pieces and I'm going to make sure that I double wash them in some super cold water. Now we've got some of this already rinsed and already in some cold water washed and I just sauteed it in a little bit of butter and we're also going to add to it a little bit of sugar. Here's a little take on my style of cooking which is going to be some fusion and I'm going to also add in some soy sauce. And as far as the flavors are concerned, this is going to be a hearty soup. Again, uh, my take, my take on a traditional classic French onion soup served up with some beautiful crostini. And with this, we're going to dollop it all with a, a little bit of uh, some of this beautiful sour cream on this crostini as well. And because fusion requires different flavors, I'm also going to add a little bit of this extra dry vermouth. And because these leeks have been cooking for a little bit, some of the potent oniony flavors are definitely going to be bled out of it by now. You know, one of the things about uh, our faith is that it requires us to not be afraid to try some new things. And honestly, the whole idea of the Israelites leaving the slavery in Egypt was so that they could try living a life outside of slavery. And Christ invites us to do that by going into the desert. And obviously the Israelites were led out there at the same time too. But they were always hungering for the wrong things, the things that reminded them of their slavery. Now, the whole thing is, this is basically almost done. I wait for this to, to brown up, to caramelize just a little bit. We're going to just make sure that some of the alcohol dissipates and cooks out. And then we're going to add it to some boiling vegetable broth. This is a perfect meal that you can eat on Fridays during Lent, or really any time that you're trying to abstain and fast. All right, we'll give this a little, oh, that's pretty good. That sugar and the soy sauce adds a nice little flavor to it, and it is trying something new. And what we're doing is we're taking some old foods and renewing it in a better, what I would call, a more holy, fuller tasting way. All right, because this is basically done, I'm going to now add this to the broth. In fact, let's switch it over. Just get it all warmed up. We will incorporate it so that the flavors bleed all together a little bit. There you go. Don't want anything to go to waste. Once this reduces, we're just simply going to add it to one of our bowls. And we're going to top it off with a crostini. Now, I know that a lot of people think that you have to toast it all in the oven. Let's try something new. Let's try living outside of necessarily those quote unquote conventional ways and try something that's a little bit more inspired. A little olive oil, this little piece of bread, just put it on some medium low heat, wait till that toasts up, and folks, we're going to be ready to eat. Oh my. Look at this. Absolutely deliciousness. And with this recipe, which you can find on EWTN, and visit me at gracebeforemeals.com, 
you will be able to see a new way of looking at biblical foods. They ate the leeks and all those other delicious things under the slavery of sin. We, however, are going to eat it with the grace of God. And so with a little grace before meals, we ask the Lord to bless this as we taste this, my version of this onion soup made with leeks and a lot of grace. Oh, you're definitely going to like this. This will definitely help you to savor our faith. To get this recipe, log on to EWTN.com slash savoring our faith.